You know, it's, it's interesting. The, the way that I go about teaching a dog to be quiet is to teach them to bark first. Okay. Hey, you want to go you know, with so, both of those? Well, look, because they're, they're, you know, teaching your dog to speak or teaching your dog to shut up are two sides of the same coin. Okay. A lot of times when a dog has an unwanted behavior, your dog is not aware that they're actually do that they're actually doing that. Like what happens is, is a lot of time your dog may be doing things and they're unaware. Yes, they're doing them, but the brain is not consciously aware that, that it's happening. So the way that you make a dog aware of anything, the way you make a human aware of anything is through emotion. Anytime that there is an emotion deployed, pleasure, comfort, becoming frustrated, becoming uncomfortable, then, then you can actually begin to modify and change that behavior. So the pathway that I like to take is I like to teach a dog to bark for food. Because if they're barking and they bark for food and I feed them, then, if they, then I can use a leash and I can use also not giving them food to teach them how to become quiet. But you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to watch carefully as you go through that. Now, the easiest way to shut a dog up is a bark collar, but I'm not really a huge fan of them. I really feel like if you're gonna put a bark collar on your dog, you know, for barking, yes, it's going to work, uh, like the whole, you know, a huge percentage of the time, but I really feel, like I don't even wanna call it lazy because I don't think that it's that. I just think that there's so many better ways to go about teaching a dog to be quiet um, by doing place training. And yes, this training that I'm advocating for is actually a little bit more involved in your part. But if you own a dog and we're supposed to be their leaders, then I think that it's really important that we raise them to understand how to be the best version of themselves. So if your dog is, is barking a lot, teaching them the place command is a really great way to get them to understand to be quiet. Because here's what happens, guys. When you train a dog to go to their place, you teach them that, hey, getting on your place makes us relax the leash that we're using to put you on there and makes us begin to give you food, the dog's gonna associate that's good. But here's the trick. If your dog is on their place and they begin to bark, their brain is then going to tell them to, to come off of their place. It's like, it's gonna happen nine out of 10 times. Mm -hmm. And the moment that they come off of their place, which was led by barking, and you put them back on and reward them, you're now in the act of punishing barking. So you're including your dog with you, you're giving them something to do, you're rewarding the thing that you want them to do, and then when they, get, they begin to bark, their brain will say, start moving forward. They move forward, they come off their place, and then you put them back, thereby punishing them for barking, and then once they're quiet again, you go back to reward. That's a little bit more involved than just slapping on a bark collar on your dog, but it's gonna give, it's gonna give you and your dog two things, companionship for each other, and a dog that learns how to be calm in your presence. And for me, that's the way that I would choose to teach any dog not to, bar not to bark. Mm -hmm.